Okay, reading AIS data on your PC. This behind my head is a Garmin GPS Map 750 and it's connected to my AIS transceiver and you can see the red triangles on there. They are other vessels and there's lots of information that you can take from that but I'm going to show you how to read all that data using your PC. So what I'm going to do is go to my cupboard where all the equipment is wired and just open that up. And just behind that door in the middle of the screen, that's the AIS transceiver. That's a CSB 200 and it's on and it's receiving data. That's the little green blink down there. Now, these cables on the back here, there's a VHF antenna, there's a GPS antenna, there's power and there is a serial cable. And that serial cable is sending data to my GPS map 750. That is this just here and that's red triangles we can see there. So I'm going to replace that cable in the middle there, the serial cable, with a cable that I can plug into my PC. That's going to be the USB serial DB9 connector that I can plug into my PC. At the end will go into the AIS transceiver there. Okay, so I'll take out that serial cable, which is providing data to the GPS map 750, and plug in my USB one. Okay, so that's plugged in now. And the other end there, it's quite short, so I can't reach my PC with that, but I have an extension cable just there. I'll plug that end into that end, like so. And then the other end into the PC. Okay, open the laptop, power on the AIS transceiver. I turned it off before when I replaced the serial cable. Okay, so it's sending data now. You can see that blinking. Down that cable all the way to the laptop. Where I can read that data using a program called PuTTY. I'm going to set it to connect to serial and using speed 38400. And I don't know the COM port yet, so I'm just going to find that using the device manager. So when I plug my USB cable in, it's assigned it to COM port 3, so COM 3 there. So back on PuTTY, I'm going to make that COM 3. I'm just going to change the appearance so that the text is larger. So 24 point I use. Okay, now open that serial connection. And that there is the raw data coming from the AIS transceiver. And they are NMEA 0183 sentences. And they are encoded. You can't really read that. I could write a program that would decode those. But many people have done that already. So I'll use a program called AIS Decoder. And that will decode those lines. Okay, AIS Decoder, there it is. I've already installed it. You'll find that on the internet. Okay, it's opened. Okay, so select Options. And make sure it's also using the same COM port. For me, it was COM3 and board rate 38,400. And close that window. Okay, and now select Summary Unfiltered down there. Okay, and that is the decoded lines there. So it's showing me the vessel name. Penguin is my vessel. The decoded message there. A position report mostly. My GPS location. My MMSI number plus other vessels and the kind of message and if you select the line it will show up on the right here all the last known good values for each of the different kinds of messages that come through okay so there's many things in there there's mmsi latitude longitude true heading course over ground etc many things anyway so that's reading ais data on a pc using the serial cable many ais transceivers will have that option where you can output through a serial cable okay so very good thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share